Hey guys, you've got quite the trio here. Uh, which one of us doesn't belong? <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, we're here to talk about our board break for this testing cycle. The, go ahead. The handbrake. The handbrake. What is it, Elena? Reverse elbow strike. Reverse elbow strike. Is it vertical or horizontal? Horizontal. Horizontal! There she goes. Elena gets 50 bonus points. But, like Keegan says, the bonus points, spoiler alert, they don't count for anything in my class. So here's how we're gonna do. Um, Elena is going to show, we're just gonna demonstrate right here on the pad. Here is a way that you could practice your elbow strike at home. Go. Okay, so let's break that down. You can see she has her hand out. Measuring distance. You don't want to be arm length away. You want to be closer to elbow length, but not quite elbow length, because you're stepping. So this is why I love teaching with Miss Juliana, because she always so, has something to add. Like You don't want to be arm length, because most of the time when you're striking with your hand, you're more like arm length away. So usually it's about between the wrist and the elbow is usually about, depending on how far you step. So if you don't step as much, you want to be closer, but you figure out your distance. What does this pad look like? A board. A board? What else? What else does it look like? Something that you have a pillow. Home? A pillow! Yes! You could practice this with a pillow. I would suggest not having a, a very short person holding for a very tall person because that could just cause problems and there's enough tension in your house right now, at least there is in mine, that would just be a real big issue. So. Meltdown. <laughs> definitely a meltdown of some variety. Yes. So, Elena's measuring her distance. Look at her arm over here. She's got it in a pullback right now, and that's kind of that's kind of advanced. Okay, she's a black belt, but but what she's doing, she's going to have it high up here, high up. It's glued. By your, by your it's your by your patch. By your patch. Your thumb arm. would be pointed in, so your blade of your arm sticks out because you want the blade hitting the pad. You don't want the side of your arm hitting the pad. That does not work. Because that hurts. It's the ulnar nerve. That's called the ulnar nerve. Okay. I had a parent explain that to me. Thank okay. you for knowing. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, see, look at I taught Juliana something tonight. <laughs> so, what Elena does, she steps out. That was not super slow-mo, folks. That was actually her going out slowly. <laughs> But it all happens at the same time when you do this. So, go. Do it for real. Yeah. Do it for real. You but she forgot one thing. She didn't yell. She didn't yell. You yell all the time at home. No, yell. I no, I don't. I'm kidding. I don't do it. <laughs> oh, I do. Okay. Hey! Right. Awesome job. Something that you guys forget, which Elena does very nicely, but no one talks about, is when you step, notice she steps, and then when she steps, she does this with her hip, she launches forward, so you hold it back when you step. You do it. You I don't know. Right? Like when she steps, watch her step, and then you guys see how she loads up and strikes? That's what you want to do. You want to make sure that when you do it, you step, and then you want to launch from the hip. You use the hip to push yourself forward. So you wait. As soon as you hit the ground, you turn. You naturally do it. Most people don't even think about it. Because there's no power coming from here. No, I just it's all from your hip. All from your hip. Yeah, you naturally do it. People just don't mention it. So they step, and then you shoot from the hip right there. So go full speed. Do you guys see that oh, little I pause? Do. Yeah. Nobody talks about it, but everyone who really does great at board breaking does that. You hold back for half a second, then you launch from the hip. You just, you guys don't even realize it. It's the only thing that works. You can stop stroking her ego, though, but I, I appreciate it. Everybody, that like all the good board breakers do it. They just don't realize it. Like, you do it, too. You just don't realize it. Ah, see, quick cover. She's, She's doing really well. She's doing very well. So, uh, work on this at home, guys. It's, um, it's a fun board break. It, you don't need any equipment to do it, any pads. Uh, you know, it's not like a kick that you need a foot pad for. So work on this at home. You can even work on it in the air, just like you saw uh, Elena do a couple more just in the air. You don't even need to have a pad to practice it, to practice that movement. So keep working hard and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.